This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call, and whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. If you say so, I'm keeping a finger on the trigger all the same. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. No security. Not that I'm complaining. I'll keep it down. Hell of a welcome. Warning, passing obstruction. It ain't stealing if no one sees.
please. Clear, 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 clear the roadway. Obstruction of commerce is punishable by a fine of no, no, no less than 10. Looks like we missed the fun. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Um, forget I said anything about that. Wish they tasted like Sisty Pig. Them's good eating. Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Anything else you'd like to know? Oh, before I forget, Auntie Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carbon in here, it's just a matter of... Ah, Larson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah. Of course, because I didn't... We're gonna get this solved. I mean, it's 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 really now or never. I'm going to. Uh... <clears throat> oh, you're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. Now, if we got the carpet in here, it's just a matter of ah, arson, you idiot. Just put it. Ah. Of course, because I didn't. No, it's supposed to be safe. I'll get this. 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 I've got to put it in. So that's the that to power of twelve. And of course, that's the. It's. We're gonna get this solved. I mean, it's. It's. It's really now or never. I'm going to. Uh, <coughs> what does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device, or trying to, anyway. I... why yes, I suppose I could. Thanks. No, uh, well, yes, well, no, uh, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast! Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. The 
ventilation shaft runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill, over the garage. Top of the hill's rafted on territory. Sit down. I don't need to do it myself. I can stay here if you want. So you'd send someone else on your damn fool mission? I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's gonna tell you to make tracks. Wanna treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? I don't really know you. Roseway's supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. Sure. Not like I get many customers. Can't say I do. Any Clio products satisfy all of our nutritional needs. At least they used to. My folks filled their whole pantry with all sorts of Annie Clio products. These days, we don't get much in the way of variety. Maybe some tripicale pasta or some ketchup if we're lucky. I hear it's like that all over the colony. We eat what we can get, and we don't get much. I'm so glad you asked. Some people say the name refers to the 17 rungs in Auntie Cleo's official ladder of corporate advancement. These people are wrong. Truth is, we've been established, closed down, renamed, reestablished, and then reopened a grand total of 17 times in the last 40 years. Corporate's still deliberating over a new name. The matter remains hotly contested in committee, but we're expecting a decision within the next five to seven years. Exciting times. Technically, I'm not in business at all. Roseway closed down years ago. Corporate still sends us the occasional shipment of necessities through unofficial back channels. Of course, if something goes wrong, like one of our guards drinking himself to an early grave or raptodons running wild, corporate won't acknowledge we ever existed. The bench staff? Stayed and worse. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to... 
t to work. Sure, loyal company fella. That's me. Auntie knows best. Look, I don't want to go back out there, but there's a thing I gotta do. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, um, benefits. In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Oh, for... He's making enraptured, Captain. An aphrodisiac. Wrapped musk is the main ingredient. What? No? I mean, yes, I'm getting the musk. With Monarch Embargo, the price is sky high. But I'm not making the drug. The results are outside the margin of error. Technically. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. The newer lab is built for, um, more sensitive work. We mostly use the old lab for storage these days. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. Great! <sighs> this is really gonna save my ass. So, hoping to score some free samples? If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Y yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant Ever. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, They'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. 
and far too much paperwork. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. I understand I can come off as manipulative and ego-driven. It's something I've always been forced to contend with. Fifty Bits says this guy's already wrapped fodder. Something on your mind?
one knows how to make an entrance. Sister. Take bets on what shuts him up first, a hungry rap or my backhand. Someone lift the lockdown? How the... Wait, I know you. You're responsible for the Emerald Vale fiasco. How the hell did you get in here? No, not... To... I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. How'd you get in? Ugh. Can't use the centrifuge without supervision. Can't file reports without him double-checking their every word. Can't save myself from mortal peril. It's like he thinks I'm a child. His hands-on management style is coming to a point of contention, I tell you.
back on us. Nice one! That's the last of them. Okay. We're doing this. Down they go. Nice one. Mess with us. Let's show him.
rest of them. I expect it, sir. Reminds me of the first ship I crewed on. Captain had to ban Borst and bake beans. Makes you wonder about their labs. How you hide something valuable in plain sight.
Someone else will clean this up, right? Don't mess with us! After you.
I dare you to touch it. You don't shoot, I won't shoot. Deal? Keep them hands where I can see them. What are you doing out here? <sighs> you and me both. Name's Lillian. Lady named McCass hired my crew as gun hands. I got left here to watch for Cleo reinforcements. They all got pinned inside, so I can't say as I mind. I'm sweaty. I got clawed by one of them monsters. I've been in the dirt all day, and I, I got bugs in places you don't need to know about. I'm on a fucking break. Got a smoke? Thanks, brother. I've had better. Lost some things in a dust-up. But I didn't get eaten like some of our crew. Got that going for me. Some of them were okay. You don't get too close in this work. And Dylan, well, ain't no one gonna regret his passing. Least of all his mama. I was near the Raptodon pen when they got loose. Had to set a few to rights. When I got to checking if all my parts were still attached, I realized I'd dropped my cigarette case. When I turned about, I seen two fine gun hens being snacked on by lizards. No cigarette case is worth my life. No matter how badly I need a smoke. This was a Spacer's Choice commemorative case. Some promo for founding day they did back in, uh, I forget the year. Worth decent bits to collectors. If she can't hang on to it, maybe it'd be better off in someone else's hands. I'd be obliged. Just don't lose any parts trying. Finders keepers, Captain. The real covert labs don't gotta advertise it. Seriously, don't get yourself killed. It's a nice cigarette case, but it's still just a cigarette case. You're shitting me.
That's what you want, I'm game. But she's gonna give you pamphlets. Don't say I didn't warn you. She's pinned in the lower levels by Auntie's guards. I'll radio her you're coming. But it's on you to find a way to her. Her name's Cassandra. They're a huge pack of assholes. Nah, nah, I love them. Probably. Don't mind the asking, but I ain't telling. You want details? Go talk at Miss High and Mighty What's-Her-Name. She's in the labs, pinned down. Yeah, Cassandra O'Malley. We mostly call her Cass, because Cassandra just sounds fancy. Definitely got something large and uncomfortably shaped up her nethers. Yammering on about rights and privileges and what all. I'm like, lady, just sing out when you want something shot. Leastways, her pamphlets make good kindling. Well, I don't got all day. Or maybe I do. Don't mess with us.
Hey! You! Over here! I'm guessing you're the one Lillian described? It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Yes, I imagine he does. But we all have problems. It is the human condition. I am myself ensnared in this wretched place. You want to kill me. I don't want to die. Therefore, it is in my best interest to negotiate with you. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for my life. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Give me a little credit. We are not bandits. We do not steal research. We liberate it. So a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. I will not be accountable for every idiot who wanders in front of my gun. Semantics. If I were consigned to spending my days making diet toothpaste, I would pray for a bullet to my skull. It is my one bargaining chip. If you want this research, you will help me out of this mess. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. On my honor, you will be well rewarded. Ask away. I have got nothing but time. Sell it, of course. I don't have any use for the scribblings of idiotic scientists, but whoever gave me this tip obviously does. Assuming I make it out of this place alive. And with my ship out of commission, I'll have to leave on foot and hope my luck changes. One problem at a time, I suppose. Mind if I grab a few souvenirs?
Don't know about you, but this just makes me want to get inside even more. They're on us. Someone else will clean this up, right? You got them. You get over here. You done a job of work. After you cacked their employer, the gun hand started surrendering, or trying to slip out. We heard it all from up here. Hell of a thing. Lost some of my own in the fight, and a bunch of the staff died before we could get them to Roseway. Damn straight we will. Taking the fight to the bosses by gunning down a bunch of little folk. Real fucking bright, that one. I ain't saying things are perfect, but shooting towns up ain't the way to improve. Get down to Roseway and talk to Doc Crane. He'll make sure you get what's yours. Get down to Roseway and talk to Doc Crane. He'll make sure you get what's yours. Get down to Roseway and talk to Doc Crane. He'll make sure you...
Reminds me of medical school. Get down to Roseway and talk to Doc Crane. He'll make sure you get what's yours.
I can take a hint. You've returned. What news? Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my work to focus on, I find myself tending towards darker paths of inquiry. Is the mother still alive? That... that complicates the equation somewhat. Please let me know when you've found my research. I will be happy to answer your questions once I have my research. In the meantime, I will occupy myself considering the different ways I can end my life. No, realistic. I don't get that research back, I'll be released from my indenture contract. You can't be serious. No contract, no work. No work, you're a pariah, cast out, shunned. Soon you'll find yourself among... deserters. You know, dregs, ne'er-do-wells, eking out a horrible existence on the periphery of society. Even if that's not my fate, I don't relish being sent to some backwater corporate township. This is temporary and simply a means to an end. I will be happy to answer your questions once I have my research. In the meantime, I will occupy myself considering the different ways I can end my life. You've returned. What news? Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my work to focus on, I find myself tending towards darker paths of inquiry. That is wonderful news. I'd feared the worst. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. Why do you seem familiar? Have we met? Ah, yes! Very good! And have you done that? What a relief! You hold months of work in your hands! Now, I'll just attach this here, a bit of glue, a little elbow grease, Voila! I can finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh. Hmm. I can't be caught with this. Uh, you take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, perhaps I'll get you the first model, hot off the presses. I'll, uh, call you? Yes, I'll call you. Any news on the thing we spoke about? You know, that thing. Don't keep me in suspense. Did you get my stuff? I mean, not mine. It's for other parties, buyers. No kidding? You're the best. This is gonna make me so popular. I mean, with the people who buy it, not by using it, because I'm not. Only for testing purposes. Quality control. You would, right? Take this. You earned it. 
If you run into me again after all this is over, maybe I'll have more. Pleasure doing business with you. You're underestimating the importance of the eighth back. Blankenship? She's okay. But Lunsford has the highest rate of foot goals per game. But if you cross-reference with the skills of the opposing team, his hand goal rate plummets. I got 500 bits on the Darlings team in the finals this year. The stats are better on the spacers chosen. My model predicts a sweep. You got that from numbers? <laughs> Toss ball is played from the heart. Care to put your cart behind your heart? Huh? Carry on. Thanks for getting me out of there. Oh, we turned the old lab into storage a long time ago. Anton needed someone to fetch precursors, and when Anton needs someone to fetch something, that someone is invariably me. About being an assistant? No, I suppose I'm not. I know as much about this stuff as Anton does, but I'm treated like a child. You know what it's like? Being shackled despite my potential? Frustrating, that's what. You've returned. What news? Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my work to focus on, I find myself tending towards darker paths of inquiry. That's all manner of distressing. I'll... I'm going to be needing a moment to ponder this. It is quite unclear to me whether he and his guards are incompetent or lazy. 
I'd not trust them to find their nether regions with both hands. You've returned. What news? Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my work to focus on, I find myself tending towards darker paths of inquiry. My research? Please tell me you've recovered it. That's all manner of distressing. There truly is nothing left for me. I suppose I'm... Uh... We're finished here. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs.
Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy-like, ain't it? You ever notice how our crew's a lot like that crime family from the Masked Marketeer? Every Sam unit comes lean, mean, and ready to clean. Thank you, customer. All cleaning tasks have been completed. Scheduling next round of cleaning to commence in four minutes. All Sam units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box. Sam units live to clean and clean to live. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? See you soon, Captain. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Have either of the assault... Hey there! Got word on the wireless. Your flag's cleared, you're free to go. Hope you enjoyed your time on Groundbreaker, the last free port of call in all the colony. Made it up on the spot. Pretty good, right? Well, I thought it was neat. I'm still working on it. We don't need luck. We got June Lay. Wheeler's gonna love it. Bye now. Hey there, Captain. Anything I can do for you? Be seeing you. Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. After Taste the Rainbow. It just me? Or has it been deader than usual? We interrupt your regular oh, schedule. Oh, I'm sorry. Was this your room? I'll just move along. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? These corporations, I tell you. Once they get an idea into their big, dense heads, there's no getting it out again. Can't imagine how I'll offload this, but waste not, want not, I suppose. Well, 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 aren't you clever? Thank you, dearie. I might just follow up on that. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a patch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time.
I found a handsome ceramic mandapillar at a salvage auction last week. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Straight to the point, eh? All right, then, on you go. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. Well, I know Monarch's a moon, but I think it counts anyhow. This is Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. received a very interesting message from Gladys Kilkelly not too long ago. You know, uh, about the toothpaste? The Spacer's Choice trustees will be pleased. I might even get an extra meal voucher. And I hear I got you to thank. So thanks. I don't think boldness is really part of our brand. I, I, I need to check my contract. this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? You're funny. Yeah, I guess we're doing that, aren't we? Crewing together, seeing the stars. It's like something out of a serial. I like the ones with grand romances. And I think... I think I'm flubbing mine. I don't know what to do about... us. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Uh, I, I don't know, I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. It, it did. Oh dear, I hadn't really... Oh my goodness. And I told you! 
was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? Thinking so makes me liable to lose my lunch, Captain. I never... I never done this before. A relationship. How do I know if she cares the same way I do? I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration! Here I come. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... she gets bored of me? There's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Of course. Wouldn't you be? I envy your boldness of spirit, Captain. I can only hope a little bit of it rubs off on me. But, gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. Well, I suppose so, but... I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh. I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Come on, let's go. If this is something Tobias could handle, see yourself out the door. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around the board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and... Unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. 
When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? Few laws and even fewer people to enforce them. If you're working for the right side, it's a fucking paradise. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. We're not gonna have to hurt nobody, are we? I got no clue what half the junk on this desk is for, except the lamp. Improvised weapon. Swell. Has anyone from HR given you the new employee talk? Here goes. Welcome to Sublight, where salvage runs thicker than blood. We're still trying out new slogans. Glad to have you on board. We could use the help after what happened to the last contractor. Uh, no I didn't. Oh, that. Uh, just stay in Miss Lilia's good side. Stealing off supplies is a good way to end up as salvage, if you know what I mean. You're gonna have a short career with that attitude. Just do whatever Miss Lilia says and you'll be fine. from the last is down on 22 that you did a Captain Felix and the vicar are arguing again Hey captain 
I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. I messaged Junlei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. I got to read between the lines a bit, but I think she might be. Yeah, I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> But anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. The station's in better shape than I expected it to be. Well done. We're still alive.
strong survive and the weak perish. The last of them. What happened here? Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. You don't think that's a problem? Whole ship's running on a computer's fancy. Then I'll make you nervous, Preacher? No, Felix. The concept of a ship computer does not make me nervous. Are you scared of Ada? I am Good. I'm glad we cleared that up. It's just, she's a computer, Max. What happens when her equations tell her to cut off her oxygen or blast us all into space? Felix, Ada is not sentient. She can't act out of a sense of malice. Where do you get these ideas? I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. 
I excel at confessional listening. Good to see you, boss. Destination reached. Scylla. The board had an asteroid mining operation out here. I wonder what happened to him.
Outlaws, huh? Let's go say hello. All right, here we go. That's one down. Love a good brawl! Go. Have it! Ha. Nobody messes with you, boss! This one's mine! Oh. oh, that's the last of him! Looks like some sort of habitation.
That's the last of them! Salutations. This unit's primary function is excavator. Owner, Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Other functions include dialogue, limited, current active commands, excavation. That is all. Negative. The presence or absence of human operators does not impact this unit's assigned directive. This unit achieves perfection by fulfilling its directive. This unit sounds like my old foreman. This unit has now exhausted its available library of opinions about excavation. This unit is removing rock matter in search of minerals, metals, and other forms of matter designated valuable. Brevity identified. Affirmative. This unit could discuss excavation at greater length, but does not wish to strain its daily charge. Thank you for your consumer loyalty, Junior Excavator. This unit will store this exchange in its memory banks. Always. I've seen one of these before. This here's a uh, planet maker upper? Uh, terraformer, that's the word.
You didn't have to shoot me down if you wanted an autograph. <laughs> Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automechs are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my chilliest regards. Jackass is incoming! Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. I'll lock up behind you. Hey. That pad. Hey, bounty hunter. You're welcome here anytime, so long as you ain't loitering. Nothing at the moment. Not that I'm complaining. Purple 
Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. CNP Forested Baked Beef. When you need to eat and run, Forested Baked Beef is the only one. This. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all in one place. Speak your mind. Honestly, I could use the distraction. CNP near maple syrup. It's near this complete breakfast. Looking for some spacers, Chaw? It's recommended by 11 out of 10 spacers' choice medical professionals. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Make a choice. Spacer's choice. Got a conveyor pull in? One of them into Why was I built to feel ennui? Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Well done! You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? I certainly wouldn't call it boring, especially if your idea of fun involves navigating a hostile biosphere populated by carnivorous monsters. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you.
We're now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. <laughs>